Well, hey guys, uh, we're going to be hearing an, a shared story now, a bit of a story of how someone um, has come to put their trust in Jesus. And I've got my friend Connor here. Um, now, Connor is actually going to be our newest Hope Youth Leader. How are you doing, Connor? Doing good, man. It's good to see your face. Um, so because you guys don't get the chance to meet Connor in person just yet, I thought we'd get to know him a little bit over Zoom. So Connor, I want you to tell me, what are three things about you that everyone at Hope Youth should know? Three things? Mm. Okay. So there's the practical stuff. So I work full time. Um, I work in an office, but the, the work I do is for pathology, which is the study of diseases and stuff, Yeah, right. which I find is really interesting because we're in the middle of an epidemic. So what, what's your actual job involve? It's detective work, or at least that's <laughs> what I tell myself. Uh, I don't get to solve the crimes yet, but I get to find lost blood tests and make sure everything works properly. And so that's fun. Cool. Sounds like fun. And what's, um, what's, what's something else we should know about Connor? So does it have to be you know, serious, this is about me, or can I just talk about what I want to talk about? Go with about you first. Okay. Um, well, I'm married, and so that's, that's awesome. Um, so I'm married to Anna, um, and some of you may have met her when she was helping out at the end of last term. Um, so she was part of some of the, the video chats for the girls' groups, oh. and she's really cool. Um, we've been married for a little over two and a half years now, and um, yeah, we have a cat. Cool. <laughs> and uh yeah what's what's a what's a fun fact about you how fun are we talking very fun okay well um only because i mention it i think in the video that's about to be played yeah but um so i was very passionate about pokemon particularly younger but you know still got an interest and i was really into competitive pokemon mm. and um i'd probably say that like my proudest achievement for that kind of high school years um, was that for 11 glorious hours, I was online, so it was, a, it was a server, but I was the world champion on a Pokemon server. Number one on the ladder, wow. um, all thanks to Australia's time zones, meaning I had not much competition. There you go. But, um, those 11 hours, I never 11 hours of world champion of Pokemon. That's pretty impressive. It was the dream. And do you have a, uh, do you have a favorite Pokemon? I do. Um, it's obvious. It's Executor. Okay. Why Can we get a picture up? I, I want everyone just to know. Yeah, we'll put a picture up. Well, why Executor? He's a walkie psychic palm tree. <laughs> Things genius. Yeah, for, I, you can't really argue with that, can you? Fair yeah. enough. Well, uh, awesome. Again, to chat to you, Connor. We're going to watch this video now, kind of, which is you kind of sharing a bit of your story of why you're a follower of Jesus. So, thanks for hanging out, and all of you guys. Once we're back in person. You'll all get to meet and hang out with Connor and uh, you'll all love him. He's great fun. So thanks for hanging out, man. Thanks for talking to me. <laughs> uh, I first became a Christian when I was five years old. Uh, it was Easter. So my school packed us all in a hall and gave us the rundown on the gospel. And at this stage of my life, uh, the Sydney Olympics were happening and all my mates wanted to be Olympians. And so, you know, I was a bit of a chubby kid. I couldn't run fast or swim well. And, you know, I didn't care about all of that. I, I didn't want to be an Olympian. And it used to stress me out that I seemed to be so different. Um, if anything, I just wanted to be a Pokemon trainer. And so in the hall of my school, I learned for the first time about this problem, you know, sin. And to combat it, uh, God sent kings, he sent prophets, uh, but no one seemed to work until finally he sent his son Jesus, who destroyed this enemy forever. And unlike being an Olympian, following Jesus was a goal I could achieve. And unlike Pokemon, you know, Jesus was real. <laughs> um, so, like, this was a really like, young faith. But, you know, I, even then, I was still coming out in awe of Jesus. And I really wanted him to be a part of my life. Um, but funny thing is, things started to get a bit complicated uh, when halfway through year three, I started going to a Christian school. Um, as part of that, I was, you know, getting weekly scripture lessons. At the same time, my parents were cool saw that I was keen, so they started to drop me off and pick me up from a local church on a Sunday. Um, all of this was fantastic, and I really enjoyed it. But I got into this bad habit where looking into the Bible became something like studying maths or English. Now, occasionally interesting, but just not very useful to my day-to-day -day life. And to be honest, I still occasionally have times where I think of uh, being a Christian as just something I do, or Jesus as just someone who can be a bit distant from my life. 
that each time this happens, it's other people who've helped me remember just how exceptional Jesus is. In year six, uh, a friend's dad prayed with us as he took us to school each day, and I reckon that would have been the first time I'd ever seen some sort of like calm, personal faith. In year nine, I had friends who were willing to have conversations about how they, you know, were discovering faith and thinking things through at the same time. Uh, it was the year that I left school, uh, so in 18, where I had the opportunity to really start reading the Bible uh, with others and start serving in groups like this, uh, where God has just clearly shown uh, how much more life-changing our knowledge of Him is than any other subject or interest you could ever have. That's why I love church and youth group. I love seeing similar friendships grow between people where you can help each other be in awe of Jesus and how He's revealed Himself in the Bible. So by the following verses from Hebrews 12 uh, is one of the favorites to remind myself and others of. Uh, therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. Cheers, guys.